place with a trusty pair of flats being so hard to find, shoe aficionados scour the store aisles and continue to keep a lookout for their soulmate. Sometimes, bumibili tayo ng sapatos that look good in the store, but then when you wear them, you end up with painful blisters at the end of the day. This is where Javi comes to the rescue. Other than creating fashionable and comfortable footwear, this social enterprise also aims to give back and develop the community that helps them produce these stylish and eco-friendly shoes. At ngayong umaga, ipapakita nila sa atin kung paano nila ginagawa ang kanilang mga sapatos. Naku, at talagang excited now dyan. Let's watch it! We all love shoes for different reasons. Usually, it's a toss between style, comfort, or price. 但是当你找到正确的一双鞋子, 更好的是这种鞋子不但可以保护你的脚,还可以搭配你每天的穿着。some people go beyond customer satisfaction to reach out to the environment and even uplift the lives of fellow men. Chong Kwan, SND, Bui Bui Hong Hua, Sikyotoi, Social Enterprise. It was and still is the driving factor of the very casual, affordable, and stylish footwear called Habi Footwear. 那么为什么那么多人喜欢这双哈比鞋呢? They're incredibly comfortable for one. They come in different colors and style, so you're likely to find something that suits your preference. Not to mention those warm feelings of goodwill bound to make their way into your system after a purchase. At ngayon makakasama natin ang owner ng Habi Footwear na si Miss Janine Chong. Hi Janine! How are you doing? Janine, please make kwento because everybody wants to hear. Paano mo sinimulan ang Habi Footwear? Nagsimula yung Habi Footwear. It was a college thesis uh, noong 2011 when I was in Ateneo. Basically, we were tasked to uh, immerse in a, in a community to check kung ano yung pwede maging livelihood nila and in return, maging business opportunity para sa amin. And that, that, so that was where we met the nanays of Kawa ni Santo Nino. Pinag-aralan namin kung ano yung mga skills at kinilala namin sila. Mm -hmm. And that's where we found that many of them are very expert in weaving. However, they get paid too low for it. Janine, could you please tell me, ano bang edge mo sa mga current branded na footwear companies? Unang-uno sa lahat is because we make use of a very unique material. Saan ka pa makakakita ng sapatos na gawa sa retaso? More than that, it's woven retaso that you would be surprised to know that are woven by mothers from a community. And aside from that, of course, we also targeted as much as possible very competitive pricing. Wala pang Filipino product na talagang makaka-offer ng comfort and durability but at the same time, hindi naman makakasakit sa budget mo. Most especially sa mga students. So what we decided were the shoes. Yeah, nag design kami ng espadils kasi espadils yung pinaka basic type of footwear na pwede mo gamitin every day, right? Very true. But aside from that, we also want to address yung mga may mga fashionista, may mga mommies then. So we, we made shoes for kids para pair na sila ng parents. We made wedges para sa mga gusto ng konting height at konting style pa. And we also made sandals para sa mga ikay. Meron din kami mga for men para buong pamilya among kayen, kaibigan, pwede sumot ng hobby. People are surprised to know every time they try on our shoes, sabi nila, it's cute. But we don't see it right away that it's made with your tasso or it's made by a community kasi ayaw namin ng pity buying. Gusto namin ang maging dating sa mga tao. Gusto ko muna yung produkto bago ko siya bibilin. It's an added value na it makes them feel good but at the same time, it's not something that they will, they will stop buying after one try kasi naawa lang sila. It's really more of I bought it because I like it. You know, Janine, we're, we're living in the trends and fashions and everybody don't don't just want to put on shoes or some good shoes. They want dapat swak din sa, sa fashion nila or, or the, the mood that they bear. So, uh, could you tell us uh, how fashionable are they and uh, gano karami mga designs mo dito? We started with the very basic kasi parang naisip namin, espadrilles are very customizable. So that's why in terms of stylishness in the shoes, we try as much as possible to make good color combinations as well as patterns. As you can see, 
pati yung inner sole namin, may mga canvas print pa na ganyan. Mm -hmm. And yun, from the basic colors like black, we go all out with using yellow, pinks, gray mustard. Those unique color combinations you wouldn't really think of. But yes, as you can see, we also have wedges, we also have sandals. Sari-sari. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, we don't want to be the boring type of brand na isa lang yung ino-offer. So, Janine, gawa ito ng... Recycle? Yeah, recycle na scrap cloth. Scrap cloth. And I want to see them how they do this. And uh, do you think pwede ba ako matuto na ito? Of course. Kahit nga kami, nagpapaturo din kami sa kanila. Eh. Oh, I'll be glad mm -hmm. to bring you there. Oh, you now? Sure. Let's do it now. Let's do it. Guys. Happy Footwear is a Pinoy social enterprise that offers comfortable shoes made in partnership with the moms of Kawan ni Santo Nino. Habi de Puliao Shi Tai Yong Pian Shi Yi Ji Hui Shou Puliao, so we go Guan Xin Shi Hui de Chi Ye. Habi Shi Tai Ti Chang Yi Zhong Wei Shi Hui Fu Wu. Huan Bao, go my Ben Guo Zhi Zhao Pin Pai de Mei Hao Shen Huo. Hi Norman, as I promised you, I'm going to show you how the woven part of our shoes are made. So, kasama natin ngayon yung mga nanays namin from Kawan ni Santo Nino para ipakita sa iyo kung paano ginagawa ito. Okay, I'm very excited. I want yeah, to learn sure. this. You should. Uh, si okay. Nanay Nen and Nanay okay. Nen, uh, we're going to lay the foundation of the clothing. Ilan layer ang gagawin natin? Apat na patong itong ginagawa ng hobby. Sa paggawa namin ng hobby, ikot-ikot lang siya dito sa pakos. Okay, I want to try it. So, Norman, yung ginagawa mo yung yeah. finished product niya. So, this, salamat na, na rin, Nena, is the finished product. Napaka, napanganda, no? It's so practical at matibay siya. That's matibay most Matibay talaga. And aside from that, marami kang pwedeng gawin. Katulad namin, ginawa namin siyang sapatos. Wow. So, yan yung sample ng finished product. So, this is the one yung tinitingnan natin, ano? And makikita natin sa, uh, sa factory mo, no? Yes. This is the complete uh, outcome. Yeah. Ito yung dinidesign namin using the materials that they make for us. The Happy Footwear, we buy it because we love it. We patronize it because it's a good product. Happy reminds me of how capable, resourceful, and ingenious Filipinos are. This is Norman Ong. You're watching Chinatown TV. Wow, a social enterprise redefined indeed. I agree with you, Paul. Keep your hands off the remote because we have so much more after this break.